Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the new Shortcuts app from Apple. Now this was announced at WWDC 2018, and Unfortunately, until now, we haven't been able to see it or use it, but they did integrate some of this into Siri. Now, this is really just an extension or a redo of Workflow, and the Workflow app is still available on the App Store, but in order to get the Shortcuts app, you have to sign up for it at the developer portal. Once you're accepted, then you can use TestFlight to install it, so it's not available to everyone just yet. Now, let's go into Shortcuts. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of examples, and what you can think of this as is basically automator for your iPhone or a very easy programming language for your iPhone. It's pretty straightforward, but it can get pretty complicated as well. So you've got shortcuts for sharing. You've got wonderful widget shortcuts. You've got run shortcuts and other apps. And then you've got your different things such as essentials, morning routine, iPhone 10, quick shortcuts featured a ton of different things here. So I added log water. Uh, you could do log run, log my weight, log caffeine. So if I want to create that one, I just hit, hit get shortcut and it adds it to your library. So if we go over to the library, you'll see it's here. And if we tap these three dots, we can see what the program itself is. And you'll see what it's going to do is show a list. You can add new items. Then it's going to prompt you how many fluid ounces and then log it into your health app. So you do have to grant it access to do these things. And if you wanna run it right from here, you can just hit play. And how many fluid ounces of water did you drink? You can just log that there. You can use any one of these routines for different things such as log caffeine. So what did you drink? Coffee or espresso? Coffee, I had, I actually had 10 ounces, but we'll put 12. And then it says, do you wanna log this? And allow so next time I log it if I do it again we'll say eight ounces it logs that I just drank caffeine and I can do it later now the great thing about this is you can add this to Siri too to open it by itself so if we hit the three dots we'll go up to the menu right here add to Siri and we can say whatever we'd like which is really nice but we'll use log caffeine log caffeine now you can re-record it or hit done. And now we could either add it to the home screen or share the shortcut. Let's use Siri to try this out. Log caffeine. So it opens shortcuts and runs it just like we ran it there. So we'll cancel that, hit done, and you can do a lot more complicated things with it. So this isn't very complicated, but one thing I did is let's post the wallpaper to Imgur. Now I could say wallpaper to Imgur because I have that set as a phrase, but here's the program itself and it shows you what it will do. Select a photo, upload it to Imgur. Pretty simple and straightforward. So we'll hit done. Wallpaper to Imgur. So it's going to have me select a wallpaper or whatever I'd like. I selected one, upload to Imgur, and of course I didn't put a title or description and I should have done that, but you get the idea and there's the link. So if you wanna get that one, that's where it's at. So we'll hit done and now you can see we've got other things. Now there's some more complicated tasks as well, such as where was this taken? So I did build these. I found some websites with some really complicated formulas and tried to build them myself. And you'll see there's a bunch of variables in here and they're not terribly complicated once you understand the concept of it. So it's saying select photos, set a variable, get the details of the image. So the variable is basically just a name, get the details of the image, get the distance. If there's a number greater than one, get the image again, the date taken, date, the distance, one decimal place, it's just saying how to format that number, show alerts, and this is how it's going to format it out. So once you see these and you play around with them for a while, it becomes less and less complicated. But if we run this, you'll see how it works. So here's a selfie, it's a video and it's looking at the distance of where the location was that I filmed that. It works for photos and video, so it takes a moment to get the location, and this doesn't appear to be working 100%, but it gives you the idea. The image was taken on July 10th, 2018, 3.8 miles from your current location. Continue to see the location on the map. We'll hit OK. And for some reason, the map part's not working right. It keeps giving me different locations, so it's kind of strange but that's where it was taken and I think you get the idea there. So it 
it figures out where it was and that's the little program for that. And you can do all sorts of different things with this, like share YouTube links, last photo to Instagram, and the ideas go on and on and on and pretty much anything you can think of that's available in here, you can post here. So I think it's a really nice app. Not everybody will use it and not everybody will need to use it. But if you want to really dig in and make shortcuts and program what you want your iPhone to do, I think this is a game changer compared to what we have on some other platforms, quite honestly. So now that we can use Siri integration, now Siri is limited compared to some other assistants out there but this kind of changes it in a different way and allows you to do a lot of other things. Let me know your thoughts about it though in the comments below. I'll leave a link to where I got these as well. So if you wanna try them out in workflow, you can. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron, I'll see you next time.